Christmas about enjoying the season, as they say in the Coca-Cola publicity. Is uh, Christmas about giving gifts? Is it just about family? If Christmas is about God made man, as we all know, if Christmas is about God becoming man, okay, because out of love, then why is this God made man so absent in the hearts of men? Siguro ang mali, hindi natin, we did not take advantage of Advent. Maybe that's the problem. So, what is Advent all about? As you can see, today's gospel is exactly the same gospel as last Sunday. The last judgment, the end of the world, and the tribulations which must precede it. What does it have to do? Anong kinalaman ng last judgment sa Advent? Anong kinalaman ng last judgment? Anong kinalaman ng end of the world sa Pasko? As you know, as I've said, Advent is the start of a new liturgical year. And at the same time, Advent is a preparation for Christmas. All important feasts in the Catholic Church has a period of preparation, penitential. That's why violet vestments. Parang kwaresma rin ito. Okay? So, penitential din siya. Bakit kailangan may preparation period? Because important feasts in the Catholic Church are not like the civil feasts that we have. Halimbawa, Bonifacio Day or Rizal Day or Araw ng mga Bayani, etc. Anong gagawin natin? Maglalagay lang tayo ng mga bulaklak ba sa mga Bayani? And that's it. Okay, or Mother's Day. Bigyan natin regalo si Mami. Wala na, ganun lang. Yun lang ba? Is it the same of the Catholic Church? No. In the feasts of the Catholic Church, okay, there is a period of preparation because on those feasts, it, the intention of the Church is that we may also acquire the disposition needed so that we may receive the graces proper of those feasts. There are graces proper of those feasts. So, what is the grace proper of Christmas? The grace proper of Christmas is, are the same graces received by the shepherds and the three kings, the three wise men, when they adore the newborn God made man. It is just not a commemoration Christmas. It is not just recalling what happened. No. We celebrate Christmas. Remember that in Catholic language, celebrate does not mean magpakasaya or magpakalasing, whatever. Celebrate means to act again so as to receive again those same graces. That's why Mass, we celebrate it. We celebrate it means to make Calvary present again on the altar. That is what celebrate in Catholic language is means. So, if Christmas is about receiving, acquiring the same graces as the shepherds and as the three wise men, for this to happen, it is necessary to be able to recognize Him and receive Him as we should, not as He was ignored and rejected. Now, if we think that just by being Catholics, we can automatically do better than the Jews at the time of our Lord, then we are wrong. We are very wrong. Proof of this is that Catholics today know and receive much more than the shepherds, much more than the three wise men, but we are not even half as holy as them. That is the proof. Now, the four Sundays of Advent teach us how to prepare ourselves. Each Sunday of Advent has a lesson to teach us. Now, the first Sunday of Advent, today's Sunday, what does it teach us? It teaches us the principal dispositions with which to prepare ourselves. We want to be prepared for Christmas? Yes. 
What are the principal dispositions to be able to prepare today's Mass? First, St. Paul's epistles, epistles tells us, Brethren, knowing the time that it is now the hour for us to rise from sleep. Sabi ni St. Paul sa epistle na yun, Hoy, gumising na kayo. I'm not saying that you are sleeping at Mass, okay? But what sleep is this all about? Sabi ni San Juan Crisostomo, explaining this passage, sabi ni San Juan Crisostomo, sleep means those unreal things to which we are attached in spite of the light of doctrine that we have received. There are false realities which, to, towards which we Catholics are attached. And this is St. John Chrysostom speaking to Catholics at his time. Okay? Now, this modern world has many false realities to which many of us are attached. Ito mga false realities na to, they can be divided into two groups. Yung false realities, those which do not correspond to our reason of existence. First group. And another group of false reality, those which do not correspond to our being an image and likeness of God. Those false realities which prevents us from being good sons and daughters of God. So yung first group ng false realities, we call them yung false realities which do not correspond to our reason of existence. Those are sinful things. Sinful false realities. False reality siya, yes. For example, I am married. And I think of another person aside from my husband married people you know what I mean well that is not according to the reality of my married state that is a false reality for example I'm single and I I don't know I watch these videos and I commit impurity of mind and heart and even of actions I don't know well those are false realities they do not correspond, correspond to my calling to be pure, to be virtuous. Those are false realities. Maglasing ako. I got drunk. Is that a reality? Yes, but it is false. Why? Because God does not fall, call me to that pleasure. So, disorderly pleasure, pleasures of this life. Is pleasure itself bad? No. Who created pleasure? God then why is it a false reality? Because it does not correspond to my reality, to the reality in which God has placed me. Is it bad to uh, aspire to higher things? For example, businessman ako, gusto kong lumago yung aking business? No, it is not. However, if already I am given to bad ambition, pride, now that is a false reality. Sinfulness, sinful things, these are false realities. They are realities, but they are false. God does not call us to sinfulness. God calls us to be saints. Now, there is another group of false realities which we may not realize, but we are attached. For example, is it bad that we tend to nobility, to lofty ideals? No, it's not bad. So it's okay to want to be a hero, to be, yes, it's good. However, the world around us is trying to disconnect us from what our true reality. So, the world around us gives us, for example, false heroism. Heroes who are masked. Heroes who do not exist. Can anyone here be Captain America or Spider-Man? No. Those are false realities. That is false heroism. And many Catholics are idealized, idolatry, uh, como se dice, uh, taking them as their idols or their ideals, and it's false. And many parents are unaware, they just let them go. That is false heroism. For example, is it bad to form friendship? 
No. As long as friendship is, you know, our Lord in His providence gets us into contact with whom we should be friends. And by true love, sacrifice is virtue, we become friends with our real friends. Right? Now, there are false friendships nowadays. Friendships with the spot which are based in vanity. Friendship which is based on lies. Friendship which is based on self-love. Friend, friendship which is based not on what I can do for my friend, how can I love my friend, but how I can enjoy my friend. Where do we find those friends? Kung saan tayo ilalike. <laughs> Social media has given us false and very dangerous friendship. Those are false realities. For example, is it okay to wish for a better world? Yeah, why not? Is it okay to wish or to work for a better life? Yes, why not? But where do I find an alternate reality for my aspirations? or for my entertainment. If I get hooked to those false realities, then it is bad. How many of us are not yet hooked to telenovelas? All these are false realities. They prevent us from living truly Catholic lives. These are false realities. These even though we still believe in God, in practice, we have stopped living for God. We have stopped living virtuously. The proof is for what we hear there. So, the internet has a lot of things to, has a lot to do with this. I, Father, bakit ka Catholic Church against sa technology? No, we're not against technology. However, there is technology, there are things in this modern world that only saints can handle. And that is a fact, that is a fact. Who among us having an occasion of sin in his pocket, cell phone, why occasion of sin? Isang man mo lang, itouch mo lang yan, ang dami ng kasalanan pwede mong maisip or madesire. Is it true or not? It's true. And yet, here we are, we are in need of those things, and yet this world, is trying to cut us off from our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the real of all realities, the reality of all realities, because He is the author of all the reality in which we are living. The false reality is no author. I leave that to you. I don't have to answer that. You know the answer. Okay? So what is... These realities prevent us from...